Okay, hi everyone. I'm Major Justine Nieberg. I'm the officer in charge of the History Department's Material Culture Team, and uh, we are working on this series of videos that connects really interesting pieces in the West Point Museum's collection to some of the bigger themes and, and just areas of interest that we have. So this is my uh, personal favorite item in the collection, uh, in part because my dissertation is, is mostly on the Mexican War, and this is a Mexican War artifact. Uh, however, this particular item really allows us to tell all these different stories. It's an amazing historical just piece of, of evidence. So this is the this is part of the flagstaff taken from Chapultepec, which was this important battle that immediately precedes uh, Winfield Scott's entrance into Mexico City, the end of this uh, sort of triumphant Mexico City campaign and, and ultimately what leads to the end of the war. This flagpole, this simple thing, it's fitted with brass caps that are come from uh, that come from melted down Mexican muskets. Pretty amazing as, as a war trophy. It's very interesting. But this flagpole specifically, this little moment in time, helps us to tell these sort of three, at least three, intersecting stories. So first, uh, th this flagstaff in the Battle of Chapultepec is an important site of Mexican myth-making. Uh, legend has it that the Niños Héroes, these, these heroic boys, these cadets who were assigned to the military academy that was on the, this hilltop, Chapultepec, outside Mexico City, legend has it that one of them, Juan Escucha, pulls the Mexican flag down from this flagpole once it's clear that they just they can't hold out any longer wraps it around his body and leaps to his death off the edge of the fortress. Uh, and, and, and that, that sight of, of, of myth becomes the sort of language of a glorious defeat almost for Mexico. And the, the myth of the Niño Héroes becomes this, this hugely important uh, aspect of this national ethos. And it's also the moment where the military academy goes from simply being called the Colegio Militar, the military college, to being called the Heroico Colegio Militar, the Heroic Military Academy, which is this amazing transition. And it's this important moment in time. At the same time, the American flag being raised up on this flagstaff is the signal that Colonel William Harney, a notoriously brutal, cruel army officer, has been waiting for uh, to hang 30 men who had uh, deserted to serve in the San Patricio Battalion. So this is this battalion of, of Amer deserters from the American army, uh, who many of the leaders of, of whom were, were Irishmen, hence, hence the St. Patrick's Battalion moniker. They're eventually caught uh, after, after the Mexican army essentially loses the battle preceding this at, at Churubusco. So these 30 men are hanged uh, when the American flag goes up on this flagpole. So you have the Nino Héroes taking the flag down. You have Harney hanging these 30 men uh, when the American flag goes up. And after that, you have Winfield Scott, this, this important general, collecting these flagstaffs and sending this full collection home to, to no other place than West Point, which is why we're here on, on Trophy Point today. And with that, I'll hand it over to Mr. Michael Diaz to talk a little bit about that. Thank you. All right, so uh, this comes up as a, flood of, uh, as a set of six flagpoles uh, taken from different cities and fortresses in Mexico that General Scott sends to the Academy, again, to, uh, as a commemoration of these, these great victories that he credits to the officer corps that is uh, trained and educated at West Point. And it's part of this bigger project of myth-making, uh, specifically around the Mexican War that goes on here. Uh, there's the names of, of the victories that, that the army won in Mexico, Mexico were carved into the cliffs down beneath us. Uh, this area that, uh, that we're standing on, Trophy Point, is populated by uh, guns that are captured uh, from the uh, various conflicts, and most of them, most of them come, from, come from Mexico. And uh, some of these gun, guns are literally built into the buildings uh, that surround the, surround the campus here. And this is not just at the moment after the Mexican War ends, this is an ongoing project that continues. Uh, throughout the 19th and 20th centuries. Uh, so I think that's something that it's interesting to think about when looking at the physical structure of West Point, the traditions here, is how does this myth-making project continue? Absolutely. And, and just in closing, uh, we'd like to maybe advocate for just for the kinds of 
stories and the kinds of questions that you can ask just by starting with with one artifact you know and, yeah. and that's what's so interesting to me about and i think also to mike about these these kinds of projects is that i mean this is a pretty simple piece of wood right but, but at the same time it's this door that opens all these pieces of, of, of history in a way that's just so interesting. So hopefully you all agree to some extent and uh, check out the USMA History channel on YouTube and the Department of History's social media accounts for a lot more videos like these. Bye.